you plan to fire up the grill this Labor Day weekend, Kentucky Beef Council has ways to pack a punch to your steak and taste buds by adding fresh vegetables. We do. Hot dogs and hamburgers are such wonderful lakeside food when you're filling, finishing that lake season or just backyard get togethers. However, if you're anything like me and some of my other friends, you've got tomatoes and cucumbers and things coming out of your garden out of your ears. So we've got a wonderful recipe that's going to be a great way to utilize some of those fresh ingredients along with a flavorful pack that beef's going to bring to your grill. Okay, so what steak did you pick out? We're utilizing a flat iron today. It's a larger cut of beef. It comes from the chuck or the shoulder region. And for that bigger cut of beef, you're actually going to be consuming and eating the second most tender cut in the entire variety of beef cuts that there are on the market. Tenderloin, filet, that's your number one tender cut. And this flat iron comes quickly in right behind as number two. So it's bigger, it's wonderful for a party, and it's going to give you a ton of flavor where it's coming from the chuck. What are your tips for preparing it? What, what do we need to know? What are the mistakes we need to avoid? Honestly, you can do such great things with this cut of beef. You could just put a little salt and pepper on it and grill it right away. Today, what we did with our beef is I rubbed it with a little bit of olive oil, put some oregano, salt, pepper, and garlic to bring out some of those Mediterranean flavors. One thing you're gonna wanna avoid while you're grilling this holiday weekend is grilling at too high of a temperature. So we advise you to cook at a medium to a medium high heat. Basically, make sure that when you hover your hand, and I stress hover your hand, over your grill or over your cooktop, whatever you're going to be cooking on, that you're being able to feel that heat, but it's not burning you. If it's burning you, turn it down. You're going to scorch the outside of your beef. If you're not feeling any heat at all, kick it up. That way we can get that nice caramelized outside color, as well as those wonderful grill marks. So take us through your spread. Yes, ma'am. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with some cucumbers that we've just diced up. And we're going to stick that in our bowl. And then we'll add to that some nice fresh tomatoes that we got out of the garden. These are cherry tomatoes. You could cut up a whole big beefsteak tomato if you want to. I've got some nice red onion that we're gonna add into the mix. And then to this, we're gonna add some fresh squeezed lemon juice. I've got some nice minced garlic that we're gonna add in here because I don't know about you guys, but garlic goes in everything. And then I'm also gonna add some fresh black pepper kosher salt, and some dried oregano. Now you could use fresh oregano in this if you want to. And finally, to finish the dressing that's gonna go on this, a little bit of olive oil. Mix this all together. If you're gonna make this recipe this weekend, you could make this tomato, cucumber, and onion salad the day of, or make it the night before, and then it'll give time to give some of those ingredients to develop some flavor together. Now on our plate, we have our flat iron steak that we've topped with that tomato and cucumber and onion salad, as well as some pita bread and a side of roasted red pepper hummus. You could also slice your steak and serve it right over top of your pita bread for a nice little sandwich on the go. That looks great. And you have lots of great recipes on your website. Mm -hmm. Where can people find out more about the Kentucky Beef Council? You can find this recipe and so much more at kbobbeef.com. All things from how to select the perfect beef cut at the grocery store, different ingredients and recipes that pair very nicely with beef, even down to if you want to support a local farmer and buy directly from them, we've got a local beef directory that you can peruse through to find someone close to you.